So we're at Heron Island Research Station, which is on the southern end of the Great Barrier Reef. For the last four days, we've been assessing the current coral bleaching event here at One Tree Island and at Sykes Reef. Well, I feel a bit devastated, to be honest. This bleaching event is the worst I've ever seen. So it's a severe bleaching event that has affected every one of the sites that we've visited in these four days. I've been working on the Great Barrier Reef since 1992, so it's absolutely heartbreaking every time there's a bleaching event. But this one, I'm really struggling with this one, to be honest. Um, the diversity of species involved has been quite hard to deal with so that when we go out and look at those bleached areas, there are so many different species that are bleached, many of which are usually fairly resistant to bleaching. We're bound to lose corals. We can see that some corals have begun to die already, but we will have corals recovering. With some stormy weather around, the temperatures are dropping. So we're hoping that we're at the end of a bleaching event getting worse. So this bleaching event, again, brings us to the question of what we're doing to stop the reef from being lost. And I can't help but wonder what it's going to take for the right decisions to be made. We really are running out of time. We need to reduce our emissions immediately. We cannot expect to save the Great Barrier Reef and to be opening new fossil fuel developments, whether they be coal or gas. So it's really, it's time, it's time to act and there are no more excuses.